Okay, in this video I'd like to start a new concept with our RTS project and that is building the scene before we start the game because, let's face it, this will not be the only level in the game and uh, when the level loads we want to place certain units in certain locations and when those units are instantiated we want to call certain events to let the game know they're instantiated and set up the scene how we want and all this starts when we first load the scripts to tell the units where they be, what position they are, what rotation they are, etc etc. So I'm going to do this in the next couple of videos. We're going to make a script to instantiate units in the game and we're going to use resources from a resources folder to load those units and this makes it even easier for us because if we use resources load we won't have to attach prefabs to our script we can refer to those prefabs directly in our resources folder anyway let's set up the scene firstly I'm going to make this maybe two or three videos long we're going to set up a simple world builder using a c-sharp script and we might go into creating a user interface later on to set up the world for the developer. So this is the first stage. Um, I'm going in the scripts folder. I'm going to set up a new folder and call it uh, world builder with an underscore and within that a new C sharp script world zero one. Okay, very simple stuff. Um, this is going to be where we instantiate the objects we want to be in our scene basically so I'm going to leave it blank for now okay so that's world one another thing we need to do is create a new folder on the top level and call it resources so resources and it was in my world folder that's cool let's just drag it out into the top level okay so this is a special folder in unity because if we hop over to the scripting reference we can use certain um, methods using the resources class and now we can load stuff load all if we wanted to we can unload and it's quite powerful stuff we don't have to attach these objects to our script and uh, let's just just go through some of the stuff we can load using our world one we can load stuff like game objects textures if we wanted to, 2D and 3D, um, audio clips, etc, etc, so assets to use in your game, particle effects, stuff like that. So now we don't have to store tons of objects in our class like public game object and then attach it, we can simply load it from our resources folder. And in the case of uh, RTS games, man this is a lot easier than attaching loads of objects, trust me. And where are we going to attach this script? Well, I was thinking of attaching it on our world object because our world controls our mouse, our UI, and um, our health bar was just an example script which we'll be using later on. But the world01 can go in our world object. And when we load another script, we can put world02 on our world object. And this will instantiate objects in the game. So within our resources, I want to create another folder and call it prefabs because I'm going to drag someone here. I'm going to move my robot from my prefabs in the top level into my resources folder. Okay, so straight away my robot's in there and also my solar farm. Boom. Is there anything else? Not at the moment, I don't think. I just want these two units which we've configured so far. Okay, so they've been placed in our resources folder. Now we can access them using our resources class in Unity. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to give you an example in this video and then we'll move on. Within my world one, within the public void start method. So I'm going to instantiate my robot. So instantiate. Um, firstly, we can say resources load. OK, and the first thing we need to give the file path. So it's in my resources folder. We start off there. So now we can say it's in my prefabs folder and it's called robots. Okay, just giving it the path name. And then we need to let Unity know the type of object we're dealing with. So type of game object. My robot is a game object. Okay, so we've simply instantiated a game object from our resources folder. We can give it a position if we wanted to, so vector three zero to start with. Zero. And also I'm going to give it a rotation quaternion identity. So the world rotation. OK, so very simple one line of code. I should now have my robot loaded in the origin of my scene when I play the game. OK, no errors, going to not maximize my game. Swap to the scene, 
drag and boom my robot has been instantiated and as you can see it's called robot and clone and that's cool we can deal with this later we can actually store this as a game object uh, robot clone equals instantiate cast it as a game object if we wanted to then we say robot clone period name equals robot from resources right okay so what other things are we interested in in our world builder well I'm just going to define a few things um, let's define a public static array list okay so firstly I want to store the units I want to create okay equals new array list that's cool we're going to deal with these in the next video but I'm just going to define a couple more public static array list we also want to know the positions of these units so new array list the other thing I'm interested in is the rotation so rotations new array list so in the next video I'm just going to make a simple s scenario where we can instantiate some objects in the game by storing their position their rotation and what units we want in these array lists okay so the last thing to do is test the robot name in this video so let's play the game Cool, so let's not maximize our game. Let's hop over to the scene, we don't really have to. And as you can see, the robot has been called Robot from Resources. Okay, so this is really powerful stuff now. We can actually configure our map um, by not dragging anything into the scene. We can actually put our prefabs into a resources folder and get them from C Sharp. And then we can configure our map the way we want to. So that's what we'll be doing from now on in the game. And this is the script we can use. I'm just going to call it world01. And within the start method, we can put all of or awake, doesn't really matter which one you use, starter or awake. Then we can instantiate objects, put them in the scene, and uh, go from there basically. Create, create your level. Okay, guys, and just for simplicity's sake, within your scripts folder, I'm, I've created another folder called world builder and then we can create different scripts for each level in the game and then we're done so I'll leave it there for this video so in the next video we'll continue building the project up so thanks for watching the video